our 2023 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mrs. Shannon Yancey. We made it, everybody. Yeah. I am your last inductee of the night. So let's give all of you a round of applause. You guys have been amazing all night. If we can give a round of applause to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame for this amazing evening. Thank you so much. Uh, I am honored to be a part of this inductee class. Class of 23, all the people who have come before me, I'm just honored and humbled to be a part of this. And I have no idea why I was selected to go last. Maybe it has something to do with my name in alphabetical. But I have this responsibility to bring the house down tonight, so I'm going to try to entertain you guys. <laughs> so I just want to share a little bit about my history with you. I was one of the first pioneer women wrestlers with some of these other ladies that stand before you. But it was when I was in high school. It was my junior year in high school. And I was a cheerleader, I was a softball player, but I just wanted something more. I wanted a sport that would really push me, something that I could work hard in. I was a very competitive kid. I was that girl that was always outside playing, playing with the boys, wrestling, football, and I was better than them. I really was. <laughs> so, so in high school, I, I went to my dad and I'm like, Dad, I just want to do something more. And it was my dad, Mike Williams, who's with us tonight. Stand up, Dad. Shannon, you should wrestle. I said, really? He says, yes. There's weight classes, so you're going to be safe. Yes, you're going to be wrestling against boys, but they're the same size as you, and you have a referee out there, shout out to the referees, to keep you safe. He's like, I really think this is a sport you would enjoy. And he was a high school wrestler himself and the captain of his team, so he knew how amazing wrestling was. So I went to school that next day, I'm like, yeah, I'm going out for wrestling, and people were just kind of like, yeah, all right, whatever. But there was a captain of the wrestling team, his name was Rex, and every day he'd say, Shannon, you coming out? You coming out? And it took a couple weeks, and finally I got tired of him bothering me, so I finally went out one day. I brought my workout gear, I went into the room, and there was the wrestling coach, he's just like, what is this girl doing in my room? <laughs> it's 1987, he did not know what to do, what to think, and guess what he did? He put the toughest kid on me. Nice. And he thought he thought he was gonna break me and I'd never come back. After practice that day, I remember just walking through those doors and my hair was this big mess and I was red and I was beat up and I was bruised and just sweaty and I was just like, that was awesome. <laughs> and I went back every day, every day, every day, every day. I went back and I got better and I learned and I grew and my teammates were supportive and they treated me like I was one of their own. And uh, I had a winning record. That was my junior year, brand new wrestler, only wrestling against boys, had a winning record. And then my senior year, I was lucky enough to get a brand new coach, Tom Cody. My high school coach is with me tonight. Can you stand up, Tom? did everything to help me. He made me a captain. I had a winning record again. Wrestled varsity. And at that time, we had singlets that dropped really low, you know, because they were made for boys. And he's like, Shannon, here, look, I got a leotard for you. Why don't you try putting that underneath? I was like, ah, oh, that's genius, right? Not on how sport bras and things that were coming out everywhere. So he was amazing, and I had such a positive experience wrestling in high school, but I thought my career was over because I couldn't wrestle in college against boys. And then my dad, once again, came to my rescue and he said, Shannon, there's an all-girls wrestling tournament in the Bay Area. Do you want to go compete in it? And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. That's kind of like, if I lose to a girl, it's because I lost to a girl. I've only wrestled boys before. I don't even know what to do. But anyways, we got our airline tickets. We flew up. I wrestled in this tournament and all these girls were trying to kick me and foot sweep me. And I had no idea what was going on. Well, turns out there's a bunch of judo girls at this wrestling tournament. <laughs> And so, luckily, I won. I won the tournament, I won my weight class, and the director came up to me and she said, you just qualified to go to Sweden for the World Championships. So, so that's how I stumbled upon 
being on the national team, and I wrestled on the national team from 1990 to 1998. I was, um, my first world championships was the second one ever held. I took second place and just continued on that road forever. Um, it seemed like forever, and that's, I had such a great time with my teammates that are here with me today. We broke ground. We broke down the walls. We broke down barriers. We fought for this sport. And we had a lot of fun, too. So let's give it up for my, my uh, teammates here at Andrea, Trish, who just broke down all the walls for us. Her and I used to work on boards together. We'd have to fight those men and be like, this is what we need, this is what we want. So, but we had fun doing that. And Sandy Walker, um, and we just had Patricia Miranda, we had such a great time. And uh, just a couple of fun stories about wrestling on the USA team. The first year I went to the World Champions, they said, well, now you have to raise your own money to go. So I went business to business, knocking on doors. Hi, my name's Shannon, I need some money, will you send me to the World Championships? And that's how it started. Like, USA Wrestling's like, yeah, we're gonna send the team, but you gotta find your way there. Um, but each year it got better and better, um, and at one of our world championships, I think it was the one in 1990, I believe, when we won, the, for the girls who won, they, they gave us our medals, and then they handed us a kitchen appliance. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, I mean, I was kind of excited, I was a college student, didn't have much, but all of us girls were just like, are they trying to tell us something here? But, uh, no, so it really came a long way. As I wrestled every year, we got more and more opportunity. USA Wrestling started to pay for us to go, and they sent us with nice warm ups because the very first year they sent us cotton sweats <laughs> with the USA across it. And all these other teams are showing up in this nice gear. But yeah, every year it got better and better. They sent us with great gear. As I went on, um, I got a stipend each month, which was wonderful because when I was in college, I got paid to wrestle. So I trained and they supported me. ASIC sponsored me. Like everything got so much better and amazing. So um, wrestling, it changes lives, everybody. And it changed my life. Without wrestling, I wouldn't have graduated from college. Without wrestling, I wouldn't have met my husband of 25 years. He was even with me when I was wrestling, so he's been with me through it all. He got to see me, you know, do my thing back in the day. Now we have two beautiful daughters. Thank you for being here, you guys. You're amazing. I love you. Um, and I just want to, you know, thank everybody. Thank all my girlfriends from Redwood. I've got a, a girlfriend here from middle school. Thank you for being here. I've got my teammates, my family, my father, everybody who's here tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, long live wrestling. Once again, let's give them a round of applause.